The content displayed on an affiliate website revolves around using widgets and panels. Now these widgets and panels range from everything from text to buttons to listings to pretty much any other type of content we can imagine. Now we can simply drag and drop whatever widget we want onto the page, but before we do that, we really must understand how the column and row widgets work. Um, so essentially, before we add any of these basics, list, media, business, social, or advanced types of widgets, we need to drag and drop a column of some kind and then go into the row settings and designate how many columns we want it to be. This is very important for when you're trying to make your content mobile friendly. By putting it in these uh, rows and columns, it's just allowing the content to be uh, correctly stacked and, and just navigated by a mobile device um, as optimally as we can make it. So from here we can change how many fluid columns we want or if we want to uh, make them non-fluid. And once we've done that, so I changed it to three and now you can see we have three columns. And I like to look at these columns and rows a lot like a newspaper. Um, if you look at a newspaper, they lay it out based on what content they're going to be displaying and then they're wrapping everything around it. Um, and a lot of the times there might be different columns. So in this case we have three different columns and again once I establish the columns I will come into the widgets and start dragging uh, whatever content I want into there. Now when it comes to the column itself, um, what I can do is I can drag like essentially text in here, but I couldn't put text next to an image unless I come back to widgets, I bring in a two column, I bring it in here, and now all of a sudden I could add a widget that is for text and another one that is for an image. So we can put columns and rows within one another um, continuously so we can organize the way the content needs to be displayed. So again, um, I'm going to undo that and again we're back to these three columns. Now when I come to this gray portion I have column settings. So it's important to understand that we have column settings and we also have row settings. So the row settings are for all three the columns are for each individual column. So within the column settings, we can change uh, the background. For instance, we could make it a solid color. We could make it an image. Um, we could give it a shadow or a border. Um, we can again then pad it or give it a margin if necessary. So we can do a lot of the different things we can do with the column um, in general. So within the column settings, we can virtually do the exact same things as far as background, border, shadow, uh, controlling the spacing and so forth. Uh, as far as the spacing when it when it in the row settings, that's gonna um, you can see this space right here, the dashed line. If we increase it, then it starts to become bigger and that's gonna essentially just space out the columns themselves. Now also within the row settings, if you come down to stretch, this is where you can make the entire row either have a background full page bleed and or content full page bleed. So that's controlling, um, again, how far the content actually goes on, on the actual page itself. Um, so what you cannot do within a column is you cannot clone. If you see this, we can delete the column, we can move the column so I can move this left one with the middle one if I needed to and vice versa. But what I can't do with the column that I can with the row is clone. So one trick is to sometimes bring in a column into one of these and then from here I could put content or again I could even come in here and drop a two column um, inside of it and let's say I then wanted to have a heading above that two column I'm going to drag now realize that this is a two and then we have the one and then um, but that's all contained in this column so I couldn't clone all of this if it was if I just come to the row I, or uh, column settings I can't clone both the header and this two column function but if I come here and this is to this individual column not all three I will clone it and now I can drag 
the settings from there. So again, widgets are going to display all of the content on your site, but it's very important that you understand how columns and rows work. Hopefully you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching.